hey mermaids if you like what you hear please subscribe it will encourage me to create more content for you and also check out my instagram and reddit oh there they are so cute as always i can't wait to make them mine just have to knock them out with my trusty frying pan here then i can take them back to my home where we will spend the rest of our days together i will take care of their every need provide for them so all they have to do is be there and love me and if they don't love me well they will learn to all right now is the perfect time there is no one around i'm sorry darling but this might hurt a little forgive my love oh uh i did how are you today i'm doing good myself just well what a coincidence meeting you here in this place where no one else is ever around <laughs> Oh, uh, what am I doing here? Oh, you know, just on my way home. It's been a long day, you know. Can't wait to get home and rest, you know. I'm really tired. My home is in the other direction. Uh I uh found a shortcut. A shortcut through space-time that walks me straight to my house. me stalking you no of course not that's a crime you know very illegal i would never do that i'm an upstanding citizen who never breaks the law so of course i'm not stalking you you need to get a fresher on the laws don't you i can help you if you want we can study the laws at my place What about my frying pan? What are you talking about? I don't Oh, wait. Uh, what frying pan? I don't have a frying pan. Why would I even be carrying a frying pan anyways? I'm not going to cook anything out here, and it's far too ineffective to be a weapon. Learn that one the hard way. I did not eat you that hard. I mean, I didn't eat you at all. Why would you even accuse me of that? Incredibly rude of you to just come out accusing me of not only stalking you but also eating you over the head with a frying pan. And even if I did, which I didn't, this is purely hypothetical. If I did, does it have to be a bad thing? Sure. Some may see that as an act of aggression from a psychopath, but who says it can't be a sign of affection? A little love tap from someone who just wants to spend the rest of their life with you. You are not buying anything. I'm saying, are you? Crap! I knew this wasn't a good idea. Will you just? I don't know. Ah, uh, will you come back to my place anyways? I can offer ice for your head, pancakes, and my eternal love. Y you will wait. Seriously, you will. It it was that easy. Wait, I have a contract for this. One second. Yeah, a contract. I never expected you to sign it willingly, though. It is basic legal jargon. In case the police came looking for you, I could show them this. Then they wouldn't be able to arrest me for anything, since we have a legally binding contract. So, follow me back to my place. Then we can, uh, we can. Honestly, I don't know. I didn't think I would get this far. I figured this was going to be kind of one way thing until you eventually fell in love with me via stalker homes. I was planning on taking care of your every need and shower you with love and care while you kind of just existed. 
probably chain you down to my bed so you couldn't escape. Guess I don't need to do that now, huh? I mean, as long as you remain loyal to me and never look at another girl. Cause I already have the chains ready and I'm not afraid to use them. But that was in the contract anyway, so I bet you already knew that. What else was in the contract? Mm, that I get the dog. If for some completely unforeseen reason, we get a divorce one day. And also that we are married. Yeah, my mom had me put that in there, just in case. I really doubt we will ever have to use it though. I never plan on divorcing you. Yeah, my mom helped me with this. It was her idea after all. Told me this is how she met my dad. Really romantic if you think about it. Mother and kid meeting their partner in the same way. So yeah, my house is just around the corner here. Well, I guess it's our house now, darling. Let me give you the tour. This is the room where we are gonna cuddle and watch TV. Uh, is the room where we will cuddle together during the night. Is the room where we will cuddle if we get bored of cuddling in the other rooms. Is the room where I will cook for you. And I guess we can cuddle in here too. And here is the restroom. Any questions? Yes, we are going to do lots of cuddling. Whether you like it or not. Though I would greatly prefer if you did like it. Since you are actually here willingly and all. I want you to enjoy me spoiling you. So I hope you like the place. As you are not allowed to leave unless it's on a date with me. Punishable by chains. You know the drill. It was in the contract. Oh yeah, I promised you some eyes. Let me go grab that real quick. So, how badly does it hurt? I promise, I wasn't trying to hurt you. I was hoping to eat you just hard enough to knock you out painlessly. I'm sure you will be fine. You didn't even bleed. A little blunt force trauma never hurt anyone. I guess I will grab those pancakes I made for you as well. I hope you are okay with blueberry pancakes cause that's what I made for today. I was planning on these being celebration pancakes for me after I brought you in here and chained you to my bed. But I guess they can be celebration pancakes for our new relationship. To us. After this, we can start our first mandatory cuddle session as we watch my favorite movie. What's my favorite movie? I feel like it should be obvious, my love. With all the talk about chains, you should know my favorite movie is Fifty Shades of... <laughs> I'm just kidding. I actually dislike that movie. My favorite movie is Inside Out. It's such a cute movie and my mom got me a Disney Plus subscription so I can watch it as much as I want. You better get used to watching that. It's gonna be the theme of many of our mandatory cuddle times. That and Princess Bride, that movie is just a classic. Yes, I did say mandatory cuddle time. You should have known about that. At least 6 hours during the day and the entire night we must cuddle with each other. After all, it was in the contract.